Hey guys, Simmo7 here, and welcome to another HRL Moto. We're here at Wild Goose, the 10th round of the season. Two rounds to go after this. Looking at the gate here, you can see uh, this is the second Moto gate lineup, so things are going to get shaken up a little bit, and it's going to be interesting to see who's going to come out on top with the whole shot at the start of this race with the different gate lineup. We'll have to wait and see. And uh, good predictions for this race would any be any of the top four finishers from the first Moto, really. Getting ready. Oh, gate's down already. That was pretty fast. Green flag here at Wild Goose. And Blades gets the whole shot. Cat had a really good start, but he forgot to wiggle the stick, and that really hurts him a ton. He's going to go way far back in the pack. Slaunch goes down in the first section, and he's going to have drivers all over him on top of him, uh, literally jumping over him right there. So that's going to be rough for Slaunch. He's really going to have to fight his way back into, into position in this moto. Good start, though, out of Blades. Blades has a huge lead already. That whole shot really benefited him. I think that's Ump right there in second, so he also gets a good start. And those are two guys uh, that definitely could have used a good start. Blades could easily get a moto win with that, and Ump could get a top three if he stays consistent. So, And Ump trying to make a late-season run at the championship series. So, again, stressing how much he really needed that start. I think that's Luke in detail. But oh, detail goes down. Detail. Hits the inside a little too hard and goes down. I thought we were going to see a Luke in detail battle just like Moto 1, but I think Luke's going to get by him after that. Hunter goes down. Awesome flip. All kinds of chaos goes down in this tire tap section for some reason. I really don't understand why because it's honestly one of the easiest parts of the track to clear. I swear, go run it in a lobby. Even with five other people, it's not that hard. But for some reason, people are just always going down there. So Don't know. Don't know the answer to that. But anyways... Getting to the finish line. Race is singled out a little bit, but we still have battles all throughout the pack. Lots of close two wides, and we're definitely going to see some fights here. Despite the fact that it is singled out at the moment. I'm sure we'll get some more drivers fighting for each other. Especially with the fact that we have Slaunch and Cat buried deep in the field. Two pretty fast drivers that should be further up, but they both had uh, mistakes in the start. So we're going to have to see how they're going to battle their way back or if they're going to battle their way back. Oh, I think that might have been Fireball who was having a solid run. Goes down. Revenge makes a pass there to get into second. So huge move out of Revenge. Here we go to Luke in the middle of the pack. Lots of drivers around him. Vulcan behind him. Ump in front of him. I think we got Fire, yeah, Fireball up there as well. Revenge. And then, like I said, Vulcan right on his bumper. So this is just a really tight pack. You see Blades on the right hand of the screen. So he's got a huge lead. Oh, that's going to be tight. Luke works his way by Fireball. Fireball loses plenty of positions right there. That's unfortunate for him. He's in a really solid position. Now he's going to have to fight back and try to get some of those. Vulcan casing the triple. Ump taking revenge uh, wide around that berm. He's really fighting for that spot. He wants it. Yeah, Ump's going to take his second place position back. Ump is fast at this track. I think I actually predicted him in a, well, actually, I don't know if we did a podcast for predictions on Wild Goose, but if we did, I think I predicted Ump to win a moto, so it's nice to see him out here having a solid run, and just as I'm freaking praising him, it always happens, he goes down in the tire tap, he got a weird just like Halo physics bump, I'm not exactly sure what that was, it just looked like Halo, whoa, what is going on back there, what the heck, okay, I have, this is just a weird race at this point, I have no idea what's going on, I think there's aliens on the track, Halo 5 Physics has just decided to make this race interesting, so they're like, all right, you know what, let's just uh, break the laws of physics for like five minutes. So that's what they did, and um, <laughs> not exactly sure how that stuff is happening, but it, I mean, it's, I guess it's making the race exciting. We're seeing some really weird crap happen here, and it's shaking up the field quite a bit. Definitely feel bad for Ump, though. That was a solid run for him. Would not be surprised to see him on the podium. Oh! Was that, I think that was Rebel and Opix and Hunter, all three of them getting involved in a crash right there. If you actually watch uh, that crash again, you'll see that Opix uh, got stuck on the inside and, and the crash was in a way his fault. But I mean, really, if you watch it, it's kind of just a racing incident. But Hunter blames that crash on Rebel, targets him for that. So we're going to see a rivalry between them for the rest of this race since Hunter is pissed. So we're going to have to go back to that a few times throughout this race because... It's kind of, it's kind of a, a fun little set of shenanigans. Anyways, Fireball here trying to track down Vulcan. He's trying to get some positions back. Fire, Oh, there you go. That's it. Yep, nice pass on the inside. Fireball's going to take that position. Fireball's actually doing pretty well. He got 8th in the first moto, I believe. And he's running uh, a solid race here in the second moto. So, Fireball, we're seeing a lot of improvement out of him. He, he really struggled 
last week at Claystone, and that was unfortunate because, you know, he he appears to be a pretty solid driver here. So nice to see him actually having a, a good run here at Wild Goose. Slaunch has worked his way through the pack quite a bit, and Luke's on the bumper of Revenge right there. So that's the top three blades first, Revenge second, Luke third, and then Slaunch is lurking here in fourth, trying to take a position away. Um, just trying to get some time here, really. He's not really in any position to do anything, so he's just trying to run his line, wait for that moment for Luke and Revenge to battle, and that's probably when he's going to try to make a move. Uh, although, we'll have to see how that, how fast that comes. Because, whoa, uh, speaking of which, I guess it's way faster. They're both going down the inside. That's really risky. Revenge goes down. Luke is able to save it. They both lose plenty of time, but then uh, Slaunch kind of does like an endo, kind of like a case there on the triple. It was really odd. Um... Just didn't have the run that he needed. And and Luke's going to take second. Slaunch is going to take third as well. And there it is. Hunter getting into Rebel, pulling the block pass. As I said, this rivalry, these two drivers are pissed at each other now because Rebel is like, dude, that's not my fault. And But after Hunter actually taking action against him, now Rebel's actually mad. You know, despite the fact that he knows it wasn't really his fault, he's still just mad at the fact that Hunter's uh, taking retribution against him for it. So... Now we're going to see uh, Rebel go after Hunter a little bit. Oh, yup, they're getting together. They're banging <laughs> through the inside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rebel gets stuck and, unfortunately, is going to have to rejoin at save his area. Really unfortunate uh, for him, although he doesn't lose much ground off of it after the recovery. He's going to try to work his way back up to hunter here there it is fighting on the inside but then hunter goes back down into rebel yeah rebel's certainly not happy after that so as soon as he recovers we're gonna see them go back at each other again and it's unfortunate to see this because rebel really just needs to focus on his race and his points and and try to get there especially since he's going to like confirmed he's going to miss the double header um uh, he'll make the wild card doubleheader, but he's going to miss the final of the regular season, uh, the finale of the regular season doubleheader. So that's really unfortunate for Rebel because he's in a points position where if Rebel or if Revenge shows up, uh, he might be into some he might be in some trouble. So Rebel really needs as many points as he can. And you see DJ getting lapped there by Blade, so lap traffic is starting to come into play. Although the rest of the lapped pack is a little bit further ahead there so we might have to wait just a little bit longer to see lap traffic truly come to fruition and and play a role in this race if they if they do at all um because we're not really sure at this point if they if they even will here we go to ump ump is you know he recovered decently i think he's mid pack right here so luke's launch yeah i think ump is like an eighth or so at this point so um not sure how he's casing that. I've never seen anybody case that landing before, so I'm not sure if he's letting off to try to get extra speed or something. I don't know. Um, regardless, we're going to go to Opix, and Opix is definitely having a better race than he had in the first moto, although still not having a very good race. Uh, he's definitely going to be looking forward to that. Ooh, we're, hold on. We're going to go. We got to get back at this battle again. Something definitely just went down between Hunter and Rebel. It looks like they took each other out again. So we're going to see Rebels behind Hunter right now, and we're, you know, Hunter's definitely, or sorry, Rebels definitely going to try to make a move here. He's, he's faster than Hunter, he's gaining on him. Hunter better protect that inside right here, because you know Rebels going to be looking down it. Oh! Hunter, oh, he almost goes down, and the, and the leader is coming by here, so these drivers are going to have to be careful. They can't let their feud interfere with the leader, and he, Rebels just going to let it go for a little bit. Blades is on his team. Also, Rebel is, uh, excuse me, um... Cat is on their team as well, I should mention. Cat was picked up by the Rejects this week, so that's a solid team of Rebel, Cat, and Blades. It's possibly the best Supercross team on the circuit, I would have to say. A uh, very competitive Supercross team, and hopefully the fact that they all have different expertises uh, can help out the drivers that are weaker at Supercross in that team and maybe get them stronger at the other types of tracks. We'll have to see how that goes. I think Rejects could be a strong team, a uh, really strong team. Oh, Rebel's caught up to Hunter. Oh, he passes him clean, though. Passes him clean. So we're going to have to see if Hunter tries to do anything in response to Rebel, because Rebel actually passed him clean there. Yeah, Hunter's going for it. This feud is definitely not over uh, between Rebel and Hunter. Here we're going to go to Hunter, 
And Rebel, yeah, Rebel's gonna have to protect that inside because Hunter, look at him just diving these corners. He doesn't even care about his finish at this point. He is just trying to screw with Rebel's finish. Rebel better protect that inside. There goes Hunter. Oh, he cheeses the inside again and ends up cheesing himself. And Rebel's pretty fast at this track, so that's probably gonna be the end of that rivalry for the rest of the race. Very entertaining to watch, but hopefully those drivers get things sorted, uh, sorted out for the for the rest of the season because we definitely don't want to see stuff like that going on in every single race. Rivalries are fun to watch and, and it is entertaining, but in reality, we want to see as little drama between drivers as possible. We want to have most of the drama just happen in terms of like finishes and crazy crashes and battles and stuff like that in the track, not just. Uh, retribution, uh, revenge, vengeance battles. Um, although those are kind of fun to watch too. So <laughs> it's good to have one of those every once in a while, but you don't want to have it every week. And here we go to battle between revenge and I think this is ump uh, for a top position right here. I think this is top five revenge is trying to hold on because I'm pretty sure cat has gotten by. Uh, oh, ump, that's unfortunate. Endo's on the triple. A lot of wrecks, uh, or sorry, it was Vulcan, not ump. I'm, I'm sorry. So I still think they're so confusing. They both run very similar looking Spartans and they're both blue. I really want one of those drivers to switch it up so I can like differentiate them um, besides having to look at their goose. But regardless, we have a battle ump trying to get by Vulcan here, uh, which is the most confusing thing ever. But regardless, we're getting through here. Ump is going through the inside. Is he gonna be able to make the move? No, gets cheesed by Vulcan. Vulcan not giving much room there and Ump is gonna just, he's just gonna have to try to salvage this section. Actually salvages it pretty well so not bad right there bean has caught up being the winner of the lcq and we've seen a little bit out of him in the further back of these packs and these motos he's got some decent speed on this track and definitely was fast enough to win the lcq so not a bad night for bean it's, it's nice for him to get a win in the lcq because even though it's a it's an lcq win sometimes drivers need something like that to uh, give them some momentum and some confidence like an lcq win or a heat win sometimes that's enough to uh, get a driver going so and Ump continuing, I honestly think that he's letting off there to try to like gain speed or something because he keeps casing that landing and, and literally nobody else in the race cases that landing. So I, I I think he's trying too hard to like get himself some speed and he's actually screwing himself by, by doing so. Anyways, moving on to Opix. Opix, again, not having his best moto here. Definitely going to be looking forward to the Mulligans uh, for the wildcard race. He's going to be trying to get a better... A better finish in those wild cards, which with the field, without Luke and Slaunch, that's going to be huge. I think Opix will be able to do some uh, nice work in the wild cards. But anyways, we're getting to white flag here. Stained Blades has just had a dominant moto. We haven't even seen that much of him because he has just been so far out in front of the pack. And this is how most of Blades wins goes. Honestly, he, he gets just a huge lead. He gets a really good start, gets a huge lead, and then he's hard to catch. He's hard to catch, and then when you do catch him, he's hard to pass. So it's another classic, classic Blades win here. Um, with 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 his style really coming across the last double, yeah, that's gonna be it. Here we go across the checkered flag. Stained Blades takes his sixth moto win of the season. Coming across in second, gotta wait a little bit here. That's the gap. It's huge. We're not even up to second place yet. Yep, we're still waiting. Results are already on the screen. We're still waiting. There it is. Luke takes second. Slaunch takes third. We're gonna have the rest of those drivers come across the line. Wow, huge gap. Hope you guys enjoyed that race, but let's get to the points. Somebody wanted to see points, so let's get to points. Um, here are your updated points. So Luke has the lead, Slaunch, and Blades in that top three. And you see the Championship Series drivers highlighted in green. You have the current wildcard spot drivers highlighted in yellow. And you have current possible uh, stealers of positions that could that could uh, work their way into that wild uh, those wildcard spots in orange. And then drivers that are likely out in red. So there's a little point standings update for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the race. Looking forward a lot to the second round. It's going to be tonight. We're going to have all kinds of streams. I'll try to put some links to the streams in the description. Make sure you check those out. Don't miss it. It's going to be an exciting finale to the season. See you guys next time.